Okay, g'day guys, and welcome to this uh, short little video on how to set up the FMC for a full flight plan in the Abro RJ185 from Holiday Wing Simulations. All the uh, FMCs are pretty much the same for all the aircraft, so we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, show you how to uh, program a flight plan. Alright, firstly, we hit the uh, index button. Go to our flight plan. Click new flight plan. Our origin. We type in Y E D N for Darwin. It goes into origin. Our destination. We type in Yankee Bravo Romeo Mike for Broom. Our flight number. QLK for Quantuslink 540. Type that in there. Runway 11 for departure. Okay, from there. Go to our legs page. And we type in Toby. T O B I E for Toby. We'll put that in there. Now, the next waypoint, JTAR. We'll go J A T A R. We'll type in JTAR there. Then we type in C I N. Charlie, India, November. And we'll take out the top one. Saying, that's our three waypoints to type in. We then type in YBRM. After we've typed in our waypoints, we've gone departures and arrivals. Departures out of Darwin. Do D A L G one two. We don't want the MAVA transition. We type in runway one one. We then go to our departures and arrivals. Arrivals into Broom. There's no stars. So we want to arrive runway two eight Broom. Preferably you have a look through here find out if there's an ILS, which there's not. So an RNAV for 28, we enter that. We don't want any transitions. So then you go to RTE and you activate. Okay, so that's our flight plan set up. Okay. Okay, we then have a look at our uh, ECAS screens. And we do have our flight plan set up. Right, and our flight plan is set up to follow all of our SIDS and STARS to Broome International Airport. Okay, so that's all good. Um, to make the FMC follow the, uh, the waypoints now, we have to do a couple of other settings. Okay, our next setting um, is to put this little knob on the left here, um, where it says range and format. A little knob on the left, we click that once, bringing it round to VOR. We then type in, we then go to the other button on the right, and we bring that around to LNAV, so the flat side is facing LNAV. From there, to set up your perf initial, transition altitude should be 11. Cruising altitude would only be 20,000. Okay. Okay, that we then type in our cruise and our wind. 
So 200 zero zero forward slash 165. Our reserves. At least 30%. And then you hit execute. And that's all set up. You then go there. We save our flight plan. Okay, so YPDN to YBRM.RTE is now saved in the flight plans. So next time you load up the aircraft, you can go straight to your flight plan page, position initial. Right, reference airport, yes. Okay, you can go to your route page, you can type in your origin and your destination. Then you can click on co route, and co route will bring up your RTE page. So you can um, bring up your RTE files and load your flight plan from there without having to type it all in. Apart from that, that's your flight plan uh, set up and ready to go. Your FMC will now follow. The, uh, the flight plan. Okay, now back towards your dashboard. Because we've set our flight level at, at 20,000, we must set our uh, flight level altitude here to 20,000. Like so. Our vertical speed, generally, we'll set it to 2,000. but I like to set it to 18, just to be on the safe side. You set your climb out speed, I set it to 280. I make sure my flight director switches are on. After the flight director switches are on, we make sure our radios are set. In this case, our radio is set to 120.50, and it's on VHF-1 active. We then like to give our aircraft a little bit of lighting. <coughs> so going over to the overhead panel, on the right hand side where it says lights and notices we then type put in entry lights, wing lights, logo you can put cabin lights on if you want to beacon, strobe and nav all on from there turn your cabin fans on your flight deck fans on if you really want depends how realistic you want to simulate the, uh, the simulation okay everything's all set to there I like to set it to there. <coughs> From there, we're pretty much all done on the uh, overhead panel. Okay, we head back up to the overhead panel for a moment. And we turn our runway exit lights on and our landing lights on. Fasten the seat belts. And then we're right to go. At the start of this tutorial, my engines were already running because I had the aircraft up and running before I started the tutorial. So I don't have to walk you through the cold dark. I'll do that in another tutorial a little bit later on. Uh, but until then, that was our uh, FMC and everything, um, and that's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get our clearance and taxi out. Um, at the moment, there is no other traffic, so Darwin traffic. Qantas Link 540 initiates taxi to the active runway 11 for departures to Broome. As you can see, we've started our uh, taxi.
so we'll go ahead and taxi out. Make sure our flaps are set. So we go ahead and set the flaps to about 10 to 15 degrees for takeoff. So at the moment we're taxiing out to runway 11 uh, via the military taxiways because someone set me up to start off at the uh, military taxiways, but that's okay. Um, this is the RAAF base at Darwin, so uh, I'm sure they're not going to mind too much. And uh, Darwin traffic uh, leaving military base Darwin and taxiing to runway 11 Darwin traffic. Once we're almost ready to taxi down to the uh, the active runway 11, um, I'll be back with you guys. So when we get down to runway 11, I'll be back with you. Okay, we're almost at uh, runway 11, and uh, once we get up in the air, I'll uh, click the autopilot on, and the LNAV and the VNAV, and I'll show you how the aircraft uh, flies to the flight plan um, for approximately a couple of minutes, and then after that, uh, that will be the end of the, uh, the tutorial on the FMC. Okay, so we're just about to cross the, uh, the cross runways, so we are clear left and we are clear right. So we continue taxi. And we are going to turn right on uh, Charlie 3. There's no need to taxi all the way up to uh, the end of runway 11 one, because one, we don't need to. Okay, so uh, getting towards runway 11 one, one, we are clear left and uh, we are clear right. So we taxi into position and Darwin traffic Qantas Link 540 taxis into position runway 11 one, one Darwin. And we're ready to roll. Darwin traffic, Qantas Link 540, lined up and rolling. Eighty knots. And we have reached 80 knots. V1. V1. Routine. And rotate speed. And positive rate of climb. And gear up. Positive rate. Gear up. V2. V2. Autopilot engage. LNAV engage. And VNAV engage. And fingers crossed this aircraft follows its flight plan without cracking the sads at me. And as you can see we are passing through 2400. Flaps up. And flaps are going up. And I'll be back with you guys shortly. Actually, no we won't. 
as you can see we are turning right to the heading of our uh, first waypoint and after that hopefully it will uh, follow the rest of the pot rest of the flight plan the next uh, waypoint um, after we uh, have um, been to Amy is Hickey uh, so we are doing the Hickey departure out of uh, Darwin today and as you can see the plane seems to be behaving itself and following its flight plan anyway as this aircraft uh, passes through 5000 evidently we are following our flight plan so um, there is nothing further that I need to show you uh, so I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful and uh, please leave some feedback and uh, let me know uh, what you think thanks very much for watching and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next